Hey guys, what's up? This is the Gas the Gengar here today to talk to you about well Pokemon news. Um so recently some Pokemon news came out. Actually two are now four pages of Korokoro Koro were scanned and leaked. And now we have I think four new Pokemon and some new Lolian forms. Um, I'm more pumped about the Alolian forms than I am the new Pokemon, but let's hop right into this. So, first off we have this fish, it is called, um, let's see if I can find the name, uh, Yawashi. Yawashi is a water little fish Pokemon and its ability, it has the ability to change its forms from a single like solid fish into a bigger single form solitary fish that is made up of a school of fish. Now I don't know exactly what that is. Like, let's see if I could master this. But like What the hell? I don't know how to I'm still trying to get used to the exploit. So I hope you don't mind. Uh, there's supposed to be just a thing where I could do this. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong, to be honest. Um, uh, well, anyway, you can clearly see it. It is a big fish thing. It's right in the middle of the screen. Um, other than that, there's really nothing new on it. And the next page is of two, well, technically three new Pokemon. Um, one is this little sandcastle on the top called Sunbang, and the one on the bottom is called Shiro Desuna, which is a giant sandcastle. Now, Sunba, Sunbay, is a uh, ghost ground type, and it's called the Sandman Pokemon. Um, it, the only description this has is a grudge that dwells within a pile of sand turns into a Pokemon, truly a terrifying creature. Which, I mean... That's not really the face of terrifyingness. I mean, it doesn't even have, like... Uh, is it just a hole going through its mouth? I don't know. And the second one, Sudasuna, is also a ghost ground type. It is the Sandcastle Pokemon. And the only details it has is it steals the life force from other Pokemon. Those create the grudge turn into new sun, uh, Tsunade? Tsunda? And right here it shows it swallowing up a Pikachu with, I think, maybe a Arena Trap or something. Stealing its life force, I don't know. And then the Pokemon on the bottom is Nekuguma, the pre evolution of Beware. Um, unlike its evolution, uh, evolved form, it doesn't like to be touched by people. Um, it is very popular between women and children. Uh, it tops the list of Pokemon people want to meet. It hates being touched and will kick the struggle and resist. It is powerful, but once it evolves in Beware, it truly gives heroic clean strength. So, those are the only new Pokemon that were released, but we also have the Alolian forms that came out. Which... Oh yeah. Alolian forms. Uh, first we have... Let me see if I can master this again. Let's see. Oh, I did not... I did not click the right thing. Let's see. Oh, that's why. Let's see, now can we? I'm trying to... Right. I guess nothing can be open in the background of it. Alright, so here we have the Alolian Meowth. So it is a dark type Pokemon. Um, it has been bred constantly by the, I guess, royal family of Alola. Now we have never uh, we have not heard much about the uh, Royal Family of Roha, if anything. So, this fits Meowth. Well, it makes sense to me because Meowth has always been this kind of mischievous Pokemon. It's always been associated with Team Rocket, and uh, Persian has always been uh, associated with Giovanni. And it just makes sense to make it a dark type. Um, let's see, I hope that like, all these little lines and stuff that keep popping up on my screen that appear on yours. And also, we have a... something just got removed, I don't know what. Um, we also have this 
Alolan Marowak. Now, it's a ghost fire type, and I believe it was inspired from the, what is it called, like, Fire Dancers of Hawaii? Um, it uses the fire to keep enemies away. I really don't understand why a fire type, of all things, for Marowak, but I also hope this means that Cubone has a Alolian form that looks kind of the same. Um, I don't know if the Pokedex entries will be any different for Alolian form, but I kind of hope they will be. Not to mention, I hope that there is a, like, new Alolian, like, Jinx or maybe Machoke Champ and Chop, but so far I've been really digging the Alolian form kind of idea. Uh, I still don't know how to feel about the Alolian Executor. I, I do appreciate its new shape and form and that it was given attention. At the same time, I don't understand why it's a dragon type. It really has no features of a dragon whatsoever. At least to me. So, let's see. What, what is this? What is, what is this? I don't know what that is. Alright. And the last one is the news on Rockruff and this picture down here. So, right now, Rockruff... Uh, is to be confirmed to have its secret revealed on the 12th. Now, if you don't know what that means, like, when Rockruff was first announced, it was t said to have a secret that corresponds also with the starters because they also have the same thing. Now, the Chinese leaks that came out that I'm still kind of iffy on are claiming that they will have a split evolution line, which means it can evolve into one thing or another. Um, it's also claimed, I believe the same post is also claiming that he will transform into a werewolf. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but the furries will fucking love that, I don't know. Um, that also means if that is the secret, that means that the starter Pokemon will also have two final evolutions that you can choose from. Which is good for the people who don't want a firefighting type, because if those Chinese leaks are true, that means we will have a firefighting type starter once again. But again, a lot of people are saying that it's... Oh, my bad. A lot of people are saying that it's going to be Fire Dark. I don't understand that, even though it's a clear wrestler. I don't know. You might, you might be asking. So, um, yeah, what's this, uh, what's this thing right here? So, oh god, can't do that. Alright, oh, how do you, how do you do said thing? Wow, it's kind of trippy. Alright. So the guy, uh, these guys are the new team. They are called Team Skull. Um, I don't know what like their deal is. I don't think anyone really does. But I believe that if I can get this right this time, I'm still getting used to this new recording software, that this guy is the team leader. I don't know what's up with the sunglasses or anything, but so far, uh, it, it seems promising. We haven't really had a really threatening new team in a while. Um, X and Y was kind of serious, but at the same time it was like, meh. So, that's all the Pokemon news we have for today. If you like the news, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and tell me what you... Question of the day. What do you want as an lowly informed Pokemon? What typing would it be, and what would be different about it? And I hope you all have a nice day, and until next time, Bye-bye.